Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at C++ if-else condition statements. So I did a previous video on general if statements in C++ and in this one we're going to build on from that one. So what our program does so far is it generates a random number between 1 and 10. We are getting the input from the user for their guess for a number between 1 and 10. And then we used a series of if statements to check to see if any of them were matches. And as mentioned in that video, what's going to happen is every single one of these if statements is going to be run and evaluated to see if they're true. But that may not be the most efficient way to make an evaluation. I mean, here we just have three if statements, which isn't too much overhead on our processor. But if you had a lot of things that it was checking for, it would have to execute each one of these. Another alternative or another structure that we have available in C++ is the if-else conditional statements. Let's think of it this way. If the number is not too high and the number is not too low, then it has to be a match. So if we can rewrite this as an if-else structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this match guess, if they're equal, and I'm just going to put it down here, and we'll revise this. So if secret number is greater than guess, we'll say it's too low. And instead of doing another if, we'll say else if, and we can build on to this previous if statement. So now it's going to come here and it's going to check to see if the number is too high and if it is it's just going to run and execute this C out statement. But if it's not it's going to come down and evaluate this if statement to see if it's too low. And if it's not too high and it's not too low then it must be a match. So we don't have to do a third condition check. And so that becomes just an else statement. So the logic behind how this reads now is that if the guess is not too low and if the guess is not too high, then it's going to come down here and execute the else part. So if it's not this and it's not this, then it's got to be this. So let's run this and test it and see how it works. So here we have the random number that's been generated. So we know we're, if we're able to test it and check everything okay. So let's put in a number that's too high. And that works. Let me run it again. We'll put in a number that's too low. And that works. And then we'll run it one more time and put in the right number. So we're able to check and make sure that each of these do work properly.